Hey, 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 Facebook guys and gals, business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, micropreneurs, potpreneurs, healthpreneurs, dadpreneurs, mompreneurs, all you preneurs out there. Uh, Casey Everhart here coming to you from Los Angeles today. I'm super, super excited. Um, just in general, it's a good day. It's sunny outside. It's a, it's an amazing day to do business. And so I would like to chat with you guys about something very simple, okay? And I'm going to start with a little rant, and it's going to be okay. Uh, I would like to uh, share with you uh, one simple thing that is absolutely um, catastrophic to some people's businesses, and I watch it every single day. So here is here is the rant portion, and then we're just going to get right in and, and fix it, okay? So rant is this. Um, CEOs and um, business owners and salespeople and uh, uh, all of us, right? Here is the deal. You cannot just make up words and hope that the collective culture of your business associates will take on the new meaning of those words. It is, it, is, it is baffling to me how some businesses just make up words. And then what happens is they make up words that don't make sense or they confuse the marketplace. And so I will leave you with this on the rant side. A confused mind will always say no. A confused mind will always say no. Okay, so here is the deal. Hey, Heidi. Oh my gosh, Heidi, I'm about to do a, I'm about to do a post about, uh, about this. That's been sitting on my desk, so you're gonna you're gonna see a post. Uh, you guys, if you don't know Heidi Whitehair, she is brilliant uh, in business. One of the most uh, intelligent, smart business people that I've ever been associated with. And 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 what I love about Heidi is she does not fall into this category um, about what I'm about what I'm ranting about. So um, here's the thing: you can't just make up words and hope that people just buy into it just cuz right i mean if i called this uh, if i called this uh, a dryer sheet um you would all look at me like i'm crazy right and you go no it's a rock see we as a collective society have concluded beyond a shadow of a doubt that the fact is that this is a rock it is not a bounce sheet or a dryer sheet but there are businesses out there where people just make up words and then what happens is that um, that gets transferred to sales reps. Sales reps go out and then they start talking and they sound like idiots. I'm just gonna be frank with you. So here's the deal. Let me, um, let me share with you a story about real estate agents, okay? Lots and lots of people wanna go talk to realtors. I get it, they're an amazing group of people. Uh, I've spent a lot of time with a lot of real estate agents in my day. And I want to share with you a very quick story, and then I'm going to share with you a very simple uh, thing that we, uh, some people will need to tweak this and some people won't, right? Okay, here's the deal. So here's what happened. I'm doing a presentation for about 150 real estate professionals, and I'm up there doing my thing, and I'm teaching networking and social media and marketing, and I'm having this conversation with this group, and every time I call them by their name, they have a weirdo, like I can tell that their faces are like getting all crinkly and I'm like, what the heck is going on? And so here's what, here's what happened. I would get up on stage and I am talking to them and I am referring to them as realtors. And the word that I was using was real a tour three syllables, realtor. Hey, you realtors, what's going on? Hey, realtors this. Hey, what's going on with your real estate business, you realtors? Okay, and here's what happened. It became very apparent that I was not connecting with that audience and it happened very, very quick, literally like in a snap of a finger. And so I stopped, like I'm a guy that if, if I see something going on in Haywire, I'm gonna stop the presentation and ask what's going on. And it just kept happening like three or four times. I'm like, I'm, I'm losing the audience, I'm not connecting, why is that? Well, here's what it is. I was referring to them as something that they are not, and it proved beyond a shadow of a doubt that I didn't know what I was talking about. The word is realtor. 
They are association members of the Board of Realtors. It's two syllables. This is huge, you guys. We have to talk to our customers and our prospects in a language that they understand, right? And so what happens is when you, um, when you refer to a real estate professional as a realtor or a realtor with three syllables, you immediately lose credibility with that person. You immediately, uh, Rochelle on here just said so true. All you have to do is ask any of these realtors um, if I'm right and they will, 100% of them will tell you that it's true. It drives them crazy in the same way that in your profession, think about what happens if you get referred to in some way from somebody trying to sell you something and they don't refer to you with the right vocabulary. It makes you go crazy, right? Um, and so here's what happened. Uh, so I'm up there speaking, I'm calling realtors, and I finally stopped, and the manager of the, the, manager of the shop uh, of the event, the promoter of the event, said, hey, um, we're actually called realtors, and it's the uh, board of realtors, um, it's not realtors. And I was like, okay, and I made a funny joke because that that's kind of my number one defense mechanism is to try to crack a joke. Well, here's what happened. Uh, they just got madder because I kept referring to them as realtors. And it just got, they just, it, finally, the manager stopped me. The, the promoter stopped me. This is in front of 150 people, you guys. Uh, stopped me and said, hey, look. I know you're being funny and we're kind of having a joke here, but this is really kind of a serious thing. You know, we spend a lot of money on the association to try to educate the public and educate consumers that we're called realtors, not realtors. And I was like, ah, that's kind of funny. Listen, look, and here's the deal. Five minutes later, I was off stage. They pretty much cut my time down, pulled me off stage. I've never been asked back. Um, and it was horrible. And here is why. Because I did not do my homework and I wanted to be right. It is not, Maria, I appreciate your potato, potato um, thing or tomato, tomato. Not the same thing. It's just not the same thing. It's like calling a potato a fruit. Jim McCord, thank goodness you are on here, my friend. Jim McCord will side with me on this. It is not realtor and it is not potato, potato, tomato, tomato. It is realtor two syllables. You don't get to say, and I'm sorry, Maria, I'm not, I'm not harassing you. I just, this is the challenge. The challenge is that there's a group of people that will say, oh, it's no big deal. Oh, it's not, it's not a huge deal, whatever. But it is a massive deal to realtors. It may not be a big deal to a salesperson trying to sell something to a realtor, but it is a big deal to the customer or to the person that's actually taking out their credit card to invest in your product, good, or service. So every time we go out there and we don't, uh, I know, Maria, I'm just harassing you, but it's a good point because there are people, and I thank you, Maria, for, for saying that because there are a lot of folks that will blow off, uh, that will blow it off. And it is, a, it is it, like I just, I could scream it from a mountaintop. Every time I was just on the phone, with a president of a company two days ago having this argument. Um, uh, t -t 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 not the same, realtors, it, exactly, Rochelle, it, perfectly. Rochelle says it's not the same thing, realtors have to fight the sleazy used car salesman stigma. It, exactly, it, it, car salesman, car saleswoman, um, pyramid builder, MLMer, like all of the um, all of these things are going down to the same thing, which is just figure out what the actual person um, uh, uh, <laughs> exactly. Jim, Jim's uh, and Jim's spot on. Jim says about half the realtors pronounce it wrong, and that's okay. But it it makes people sound like they don't know what they're talking about. And all I'm trying to do is give you guys one little thing that you can change if you pronounce them realtors or realtors, um, uh, all you have to do is change it. And if you don't, if you don't, like you don't have to believe me, I don't, it doesn't really hurt me one way or the other, it hurts you. So this is a chance for you to be, uh, I, I, I've said many, 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 many times, I talk about this to, um, uh, I talk about this 
in my networking riches course I talk about it pretty much constantly that we have to talk to our consumers in their language and our prospects in their language and you and I have a choice to make we can be right or we can be rich this is one of those lessons where if you want to be right and you want to fold your arms and say Casey no call them realtors that is three syllables that's great you get to be right in your own head there's a whole group of people that get to be rich and they get to be rich because they make quick changes in their languaging that open up potential new business for them. So you guys, thank you for tuning in. Hope you have an amazing day. Remember, Realtor, two syllables. Okay, awesome guys. Have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Okay, ciao.